What if I could combine one of the great inventions of the Edwardian period with Lawrence of Arabia and create a camel burger? I'm using three cuts of camel, sirloin, rib and chuck. I've pre-salted them, which is important because it draws the protein out whilst they're ground and helps stick the burger together. We're going to take the strands of mints as they come out of the grinder and lay them so they're all basically pointing that way. The reason for doing that is when I bite into them, all the strands will be like this, so literally they fall apart in the mouth. going to compress the meat and form a big camel sausage and then slice into hamburgers. So I've got my burgers. Now the best way to cook these is on the barbecue. That's the reason that I'm barbecuing these, so I'm going to get really kind of nice crust on the outside and it's still soft in the centre, so we'll keep them a bit rare. Um, also, that just that element of smoke is just going to give an extra punch to these. So here's the burgers that have been resting. I've just popped some cheese on, which is lightly flavoured with caraway, pop them onto the grill for a couple of seconds. So now to assemble the burger. I add the burgers to a bun flavoured with Eastern Spice caraway along with tomatoes, gherkin and lettuce. Right, there is my Lawrence of Arabia Edwardian inspired camel burger. But I was thinking, why stop there? Why not turn this course into a humpy meal? To start with, instead of chicken nuggets, I'm making some marabone nuggets because this is a very similar taste to camel hump. I deep fry the marrow bone with a mixture of garlic, herbs, lemon, and piccalilli mustard. You can't have nuggets without a dipping sauce. So I've got three here. Humpy mayo, which I've made by combining mayonnaise and preserved lemon. Humpy ketchup. That is tomato ketchup mixed with ras al hanout my favourite spice from Morocco. And finally, some humpy mustard, which is basically mustard combined with roasted aubergine and some sesame paste. Then, to hold my meal, my very own flying carpet, to which I add my burger, nuggets and my famous triple-cooked chips. I've got one more thing to put on here. Now, you need something to dip your chips in, don't you? Think of Lawrence of Arabia. You think of camels, you think of sand. So, to dip the chips in, I've made some edible sand from crushed waffle cones, tapioca and rose petals. Now, for one final thing, there's no self-respecting humpy meal would be complete without onion rings. So here, I've got my special patented onion smoke ring machine. And over here, combine oil, an onion essence, which combines to create my very own Humpy Mill onion smoke rings. <laughs>